Well, over the next few minutes, I'm gonna help you create your very first presentation inside ProPresenter. We're gonna go over all the features you need to know how to use to get that first presentation up and running. Before we do that, I wanna help you understand how ProPresenter works. ProPresenter uses layers, much like Photoshop and other layout programs, there are multiple layers that sit on top of each other to create the final image. Inside ProPresenter, there's six different layers that you have available. The first layer is the background color. Now the background color is a global setting or it can be a per document setting of a background color and it's defaulted to black, so sometimes you don't even realize that it's there. The next layer is the live video layer which contains all of your live video elements. The layer on top of that is the video playback layer which contains your background videos and foreground videos. Then you have the slide layer which contains things like message notes, song lyrics, Bible passages, and other slide elements. The next layer on top of that is a persistent layer called props which stay on top of your presentation at all times. And the final layer is the masking layer which allows you to mask out areas of your final output image. So now that we see all the different layers that make up ProPresenter, let's create our first presentation. So let's start by understanding the interface. First on the left column here, you'll see a preview region that shows any slides up on the screen. Now this is also resizable so you can get a larger preview. Now underneath that, you'll see the library, and this contains all of the different documents you have available to you. Now this is everything from songs to message notes to announcement loops. And underneath there is where you can create playlists of all of your different documents for a individual event. Now on the right side of the screen, you'll see our document viewer, and this shows all of the slides available for this document and allows you to scroll through and uh, throw them on the screen in any order. Now underneath that is the image and video bin. You'll see we have a couple different options. We have backgrounds, which is all of the background media available. So I can click on this background and it's gonna show up underneath the, the text there because it's a background. Now we also have foregrounds, which is for mini movies or title graphics, a purchased area for any media bought from the ProPresenter store, and any other playlists that you've created. Now at the top you'll see a toolbar. Now on the left side here we have our clear buttons, we can clear all, we can clear slides which will get rid of the text, we can clear backgrounds which will get rid of the background, and we have a logo button we can put on as well. And we can hit clear all to get rid of that logo. Now we have a new button for new documents, we have the editor button to pull up our editor, and we can show and hide the vi video and image bin as well as the audio bin. Now next are different features available inside ProPresenter. The first one here is messages, which is really helpful because we can throw messages on the screen for nursery callouts, and we can even do countdown clocks. Next we have props, which as I said before is a persistent layer that shows up on top of all other slides, and we can easily clear that out by just clicking the logo button, and we can close out the active props uh, menu by clicking the X there. We have other things like the store, song select, Bibles, DVD, and Twitter. Next we have a format bar which allows us to format the way that all of these slides look. Next to that is a timeline which allows us to automate slides to a song track. And we have a templates area which allows us to select different templates to quickly uh, change the look of our slides. And finally we have our output window on and off and we can change the volume inside ProPresenter as well as customize the toolbar. So now let's create our first song. So I'm gonna to go to the new presentation button and we're gonna type in Jesus Loves Me. And then under template, we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the full screen template that we wanna use. And for category, this isn't a presentation, this is a song, and then the size is correct, so we'll just hit new. Now you can see it's created Jesus Loves Me, and now we can start editing it to add our lyrics. So I'm gonna click on the editor button and this will bring us into our editing mode. Now we can just double click here to add our text. And I'm not gonna bore you, but I'm gonna add in the whole first verse of Jesus Loves Me. So you can see I've created this first verse and now we need to add in the chorus. So I'm gonna go down to the new slide button and we have two options. We can either do what I just did and create a new slide or we can actually click this drop down and create a slide with a specific template. So now in here, I'm gonna type in the chorus of Yes, Jesus Loves Me. And we're just going to copy and paste this. So I'm using Command C, Command V, Command V, and for the Bible tells me so. 
And so now we've created all the text for our song. So now let's apply some labels so we know what it is. So I'm gonna close out this editor. And in here, we're gonna label our slides with different groups. So I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna apply a group label of verse one. Now you can see it's colored both of these slides because it's trying to group everything together, but we want this to be the chorus. So all we have to do is right click on this and do a new group and we can say chorus. And now our song has different labels. So now we've created our first simple song, but most of the time you'll have a text file, you're copying text from online, or you're using services like Song Select to bring in your lyrics. So let's see how to create a song easily and quickly with those services. So the first way you could do this is go to File and do Import, and you could either do Copied Text, PowerPoint, or Import Old Pro Presenter Files. What we're gonna do is use Song Select. So I'm gonna click on Song Select, we're gonna go over to the search field and we're gonna search for Everlasting God. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find this one by Benton Brown. We're gonna click on the lyrics and under this lyric dropdown, you'll see copy or save as TXT file. And when I click on this, ProPresenter is automatically gonna recognize it and it's gonna bring up the import dialog box. So now we can do, um, we can break up our slides by line break and we can say every four lines becomes a new slide. We can also set the uh, size of the uh, presentation, the category, and the template. And so we're gonna go with our default and we can choose the destination we want it to save to the library. We also have an option to go to the reflow editor. So I'm gonna select the song and hit edit. And this is gonna bring up our reflow editor. And what this allows us to do is see how the song will look once it's imported. And we can change it really quickly and easily. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to this dropdown and I'm gonna add our label of pre-chorus. Then we're also going to go in and we don't have a label of chorus one, we just have a label of chorus. So I'm going to change that out to chorus. Um, and then I'm going to go down to the verse and make sure everything's in order. And as you can see, our slide break is in the wrong place. So I'm going to do is just drag this slide break right there. And then we're going to just have to hit enter to knock that down to the next line. So now verse one is all lined up. Our chorus is all good to go and our pre-chorus. So now let's hit import, and that's imported it to the library. We're gonna close out song select, and now we can actually make an arrangement of this song. So I'm gonna hit the arrangements button, and in here you'll see we have tokens for each of our different areas of our arrangement. We have our pre-chorus, chorus, and verse. So I'm gonna add a new arrangement, and we're gonna call this normal, and we're gonna reorder this. So this song starts with the verse, and does the pre-chorus, and then the chorus, and it does that twice, so we can quickly add this, and as I'm adding these in, you'll see it's automatically updating. Then we're gonna add in a pre-chorus and then a double chorus at the very end. So now our song has been arranged. Now the next thing we wanna do is create a playlist. So I'm gonna go down here in the corner and I'm gonna create a new playlist. This is also where you would create a new Planning Center Online playlist. So I'm gonna do new playlist and we're gonna name this Sunday and we're gonna bring in Everlasting God. So I'm just gonna drag this in. We're also gonna search for our Jesus Loves Me, and we're gonna bring that in here as well. So now that we have those two items in, we can actually select which uh, arrangement we want for them. So for Everlasting God, I'm gonna flip down, and I'm gonna say I want the normal arrangement, and then I can flip that back up, and this is gonna utilize our normal arrangement. Jesus Loves Me, we don't have an arrangement, so I'm gonna just quickly make one. So again, we're gonna do a new arrangement. We're just gonna say verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And let's uh, add in a uh, background here. So we're just gonna add this in to the beginning. And for Everlasting God, let's add in another background. And these are all backgrounds that come with ProPresenter 5. So there's a great selection of backgrounds that you can put in here. So as you can see, when I add it to the chorus, it adds it to all choruses. And when I add it to the verse, it adds it to all verses, which is really, really nice. So now let's add some more media to our playlist. So now we can go down to foregrounds and I have a mini movie here that I wanna add in. All I'm gonna do is click and drag it over into the playlist. And now you can see we have a mini movie we can easily play a part of our playlist. Now let's say we wanted to add an announcement loop. So I'm just gonna go find my announcements here 
and we're gonna click on these and we're gonna bring these in and add these to our playlist as well. So the last thing that you'll probably want to add to your playlist is message notes for the teaching and I'll show you how to do this pretty quickly and easily. So again, I'm going to go up to the new presentation button and we're just going to type in message notes. And we're going to change this from song to speaker notes and our template and size is good so we'll hit new. So then we can go to the editor and we can type in our title. A lot of times after you add in the title and any other notes, your pastor is going to want to add in Bible verses. So let's quickly add those in. So I'm going to click on Bibles and I'm going to select a Bible and we're going to select a book of the Bible and we're just going to do Genesis 1 and we're just going to say Genesis 1 through 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to say save as document or copy to current document. And I want to copy to current document. So I have that selected. I'm going to do copy to current document and I'm going to close out the Bibles and you'll see my message notes now has that um, King James Genesis 1 passage and we can bring that in and now our playlist is ready to go. So now we've created our playlist and created all of our songs. Now let's navigate it. There's a few different ways to navigate through slides. The first is just by clicking. So you can click on any slide and click on any item in your playlist and it will go immediately there. The next way is by using arrow keys. So if I hit the up arrow key or the down, it will navigate through the playlist. If I hit the over arrow key, it will enter that playlist and start going through the slides. And I can hit back and forth or I can hit the space bar to also um, go ahead to the next slide. We can also punch in a number on our keypad and then the enter key to go to a specific slide. So if I wanted to jump to slide 13, I would just type in 13 and enter and it's going to jump ahead to slide 13. You can also assign hotkeys to slides. We also have another view we can do which is called contiguous. And what this does is allows us to see all of the slides all in this one view so that we don't just have one thing there. And so again, we can easily click and hit space and it will go to the next thing in the playlist. And you can see how we can navigate through. You've just finished making your first presentation inside ProPresenter. Congratulations. And as you can see, it's really easy to use. If you want to find out more about all the other features that we didn't really touch on or you kind of glance through and you're like, well, how do I fully utilize that? Make sure to check out all the other tutorials that go in depth on specific features inside ProPresenter.